I asked a musician the difference between an accordion and a concertina. He replied that an accordion takes longer to burn. There are many reasons why young people today, at least not many young people today, don't play the accordion. Reasons range from that the instrument and the people who play it are silly and or dumb. <laughs> if I put my shirt over it, it's like boobs. Other reasons are that if the instrument is confusing. <laughs> so many buttons. What are you? For people who do manage to start playing the accordion, they often find it a uh, little heavy. Get this thing off me! Unwieldy. <laughs> And frustrating to play. I'll kill it! I swear to God, I'll kill it! What do you want from me? Accordion has since been banished from the face of popular music. In the music world today, uh, accordion players are often the subject of scorn by the general public. <laughs> You paid for the ticket! And their fellow musicians. Accordions suck! Accordions suck! Accordions suck! So I guess the question is, why would anyone spend a month trying to learn how to play this thing correctly? I'm really not sure. I picked up the accordion kind of on accident. I was in a production of Sweeney Todd in my high school. My director came up to me. He knew I'd played the piano uh, for a good while and he asked me if I wanted to learn the accordion and play in the pit for Sweeney Todd. And I thought, you know, I have a month and in this month I will have to get off book on my lines. I have to learn all my blocking. I have to learn all my songs. I have to learn the accordion, both left hand and right hand, and all the little buttons. And the first music I would be reading as a novice accordion player would be Stephen Sondheim music. And another part of me thought this could be an instrument that will brand me as a certified dork for the rest of my life. And I thought, oh hell yeah. Two, three, four. Yeah.